yo yo what's up people today we're gonna be doing something different well not exactly different but today in the house i have one of the original i mean the original activists music political any kind of activists we're gonna be rolling it in four minutes time but we're doing microphone check right now so go ahead and share uh share the video we're gonna start at exactly 10 o'clock but let's go ahead and do our mic check do our background music check do all kinds of check make sure everything is going on well okay go ahead and invite everybody let's do this some reality mm. right turn up my microphone Shit. Russ, I've been told my microphone on, shit. Stand to guess in reality, my thick. 204, a book of it. What up? Nigeria, Jaga, Jaga. Everything's got us, got us. All my place from us, so far. Go, sir, go, sir. Go, shot in the air. Nigeria, Jaga, Jaga. Everything's got us, got us. All my place from us, so far. Go, sir, go, sir. Go, shot in the air. I'm not a pimp to your house. You know, take money, you know, make your wife. Went straight up to your bedside. Share, share this video. Just go ahead and share it. Go get everybody together. Today is gonna be explosive. Political and rubber in the hat. Now we take the kill, Nigeria. Nigeria, Jaka, Jaka. Everything's not a sucker. Go on, please, so far, so far. Go, Zach, go, Zach. Go, shut it up again. Nigeria, Jaga, Jaga, eh? everything's Sata, Sata, one man is so far, so far, Boza, Boza, go shot in the air, if you say they are more eh? they are not come for jail for Babuja, he'll slay a great set, they forget, how they bend their line, they feed all of them, yeah, but it's like praising, praising, everything's Sata, Sata, Oh man, they so far, so far. Bosa, bosa. Gunshot in the air, what you say? Nigeria, jaga, jaga. Everything's scatter, scatter. Oh man, they so far, so far. Bosa, bosa. Gunshot in the air. Nigeria, jaga, jaga. Everything's scatter, scatter. Oh man, they so far, so far. Bosa, bosa. Gunshot in the air. <clears throat> yeah guys thank you so much thank you everybody uh nigeria don't scatter welcome to our show today we have a very special guest in the house he is idris abdul karim idris abdul karim is a uh, big time famous old time when i say old time that means the people wait on day for this struggle from way back is a uh, is a human rights activist is a political activist is one of those people i respect because anybody who can stand against the government of the day and 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 say the way it is without being scared without being afraid of what happens to them that is somebody <clears throat> who is a real uh, freedom fighter. And so, Abdul Karim 
is one of those guys that I really, really respect. He is the one that is going to come on our show today uh, and he's going to talk about the state of the Nigerian nation. We already know the state of the Nigerian nation, but when people like us keep talking and talking and talking, you all think that, oh, maybe something is wrong with us. But when you hear it from some other people, then you get to understand that this thing is all over the place. Everybody's angry. Everybody's angry. Everybody's fed up. This guy sang this song so many years ago. I'll let him uh, talk. That is hoping that our internet will also um, not disappoint us today. But I can't prepare for them. If they disappoint us through internet, we will call uh, uh, through phone. Where's my phone even, sir? <laughs> today, I don't want any stories. Uh, uh, my phone, I'm going to call them through phone if I don't get them uh, on the... Uh, where is this my phone now? Uh, this thing is going to start again today. I beg. <laughs> Look, I keep my phone with no. Uh, no, 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 the other phone. So I'm going to... Uh, we're going to bring uh, Idris Abdul Karim live to come and talk to us because he said some things recently. The guy knows how to get into trouble. He said some things recently. Maybe he's upstairs. He said some things recently that um, that got everybody, it, it got the internet buzzing. It's got people who uh, support uh, uh, um, uh, the, 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 the incumbent president. It got them very, very mad and furious at him. So when he comes on, he's going to tell us all about those things and we will hear directly from him. That's what is um, that's what is gonna happen when Abdul Karim comes online. But meanwhile, I don't want to bring him when we are not ready. Go ahead and share this video. Share this video to everybody. Share it with everybody. Um, our presidential candidate Omoyele Shore is live somewhere right now, but we already fixed this uh, show so. Um, some of us are there and invite those of us who can also be here. Let's keep the buzz going. we got to saturate the whole of the Nigerian uh, Republic with our message. Uh, we got to take it back. we got to make them know that we are not kidding. We are not joking. We are here serious. We are really, really serious about this thing that we are saying and this thing that we are doing. So, man, um, invite everybody. Invite them. Let me play the music while you guys are inviting everybody. Go ahead and invite somebody today, today, not today. We no go agree. We no go agree. We will scatter them. We will tell them what they're doing that we don't like. Woo! Okay, let's go. Let's go. More, 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 more. We got in some reality right here. Go ahead. Turn up my microphone. Shit. I back to my microphone, to all shit. Stamp to get some reality. I'm thinking 204. I'm too Korean. What up? Nigeria, Jaga, Jaga. Everything Santa, Santa. All my place from us so far. Go start, go start. Go shot in the air. Nigeria, Jaga, Jaga. Everything Santa, Santa. Yo, my brother, thank you for coming on live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what we're gonna do? They, they're getting, they're getting smart with us. Hold on, hold on one second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find a way to twist, to turn this around. So we, hey guys, I got Abu Abdul Karim on the line and, and I don't know how you guys are gonna see this. Yeah, what's up, yo? What's up, what's up, what's up? Yeah guys, can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear me in the studio? Can you hear me in the studio? Mic check one two one two one two. Good, good. Canada, good. how you there? Can you hear me? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 we're hearing you, we're hearing you. So Idris Abdul Karim, my brother. So many years ago, you came out with the song Nigeria Jaga Jaga. Tell me when you sang that song. When did you sing that song? Jaga Jaga dropped approximately 16 years ago. You know what I mean? 16, <laughs> and, um, 16, 16 years, years ago? Later, so you can hear. Yeah. Oh my goodness. 16 years ago. So 16 years later. 
you can still see Nigeria is jaga jaga. My goodness. Sad. Sixteen years ago, he it's dropped the song Nigeria jaga jaga, and this song is as relevant yeah. now as it, it, it was sixteen years ago. In fact, That's sixteen right. years ago, when you sang that song. Tell me, tell me what happened. Tell me what happened with that song. After you sang the song, what was your experience with the government? Did they clap for you? Did they put you in a five-star hotel? <laughs> tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. <laughs> I was, I was, I was actually arrested. You know, Obasanjo don't like me at all, and um, I love him so much for making me a superstar. You know, I'm a social crusader. My responsibility is to speak the truth, whether anybody likes it or not. Do you understand? Yeah. That's what I stand for. Music. Fela, I'm a student of Fela. Fela says music is a tool to pass the message across. It's not for fun. You know what I mean? You, we, definitely, it's, it's for you to have fun. Bounce your head, enjoy yourself, dance, but at the same time, go home with the message. Jiri, what up? Yeah, yeah. So, my brother, yeah. You were telling me... <laughs> You were telling me how when you sang the song, Obasanjo sent a limousine to pick you and they took you to a five-star hotel and uh, tell me about it. <laughs> I was arrested. I was not taken to a five-star hotel. I was taken to the first, second parlor, third parlor, fourth parlor, fifth and sixth parlor in Asso Rock. Wow. Where I had to wait with my with my dwarf for approximately five, six, seven hours to see the president. Huh. Finally, the president appeared and said, where is the boy that sang the Daga Daga song? And I stood up and said, Your Excellency, it was nice meeting you. I'm, uh, I'm a great fan. Thank you for making me a superstar. I'd like to have your autograph before I leave. He said, who told you you are leaving? I said, Your Excellency, the, the whole world knows I'm here, so I ain't scared of you, Your Excellency. What? He said, who is your father? He said, he said, he said, he said, who told you you are leaving? I said, Your Excellency, the whole world knows that I'm here. And I'm not scared of you, Your Excellency. He then continued and said, who is your father? I said, Allah, you may come Mr. Masule, say Mr. Masule, he said, take this boy out of here. After they finished their meeting, Renee or you all of them, everybody were chilling, they are having dinner. Wabana finally said that, okay, have you heard about the tsunami disaster in America? I said, yes, Your Excellency. He said, what can we do to support America for the tsunami disaster? I said, Your Excellency, you already given license to three telecommunications. Just give us a just give just give us a secret code that would ask Nigerians to vote in. And the money will be made and transferred to America. Because I know if I ask you to give me money, you won't give me money. And I'm not gonna ask money from you, Your Excellency. At the same time, I hope, I hope, I hope. I am consulting. I hope I am consulting for you, for giving you an idea. <laughs> <laughs> so he now said to me, he now said to me that I would want you to go back and sign Nigeria. I know Jaga Jaga is here. I say, Your Excellency, that won't be possible. I wish you and I can walk on the street without your security and see what would happen on the street. That is how I am to the street when I speak the truth. So imagine lying to the street. I won't be able to walk on the street. You can walk on the street without your security, Your Excellency. He said he's very proud. Take him out of here. <laughs> I was taken away. I was taken away to the third parlor and chill. After a few times, they said, your Excellency said that you should reach Charlie Boy and you guys should try and put something together for the tsunami disaster. I said, that won't be a problem. Can I go now? He said, yes. So that was how I left, which I know Mr. Masule must have called me. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, Chidi, yeah. you know, um, I discovered that um, fear is a very, very, very bad thing. Mm -hmm. I think fear has stagnant. 
Mm. People are so scared to speak for well, one reason because they don't want to they don't want to offend offend the power that be mm -hmm. so that they so that they will not be seen as red flag or they won't get favor from the government. Mm -hmm. I need only one person to be able to survive and be a successful person in my life. I don't need everybody. So when something happens, I just need to speak the truth whether anybody likes it or not. Mm. And that was what happened between me and Omar Sanjo. That was 15 years, that was 16 years ago. This is 16 years later. My brother, Wari is big time Yama Yama. <laughs> Wari is the new Jaga Jaga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me take you. Let me take you up on that. You actually, it's online. It's on the internet. You said that uh, Buhari is the only. Uh, what, how did you put it? Is the most successful fraud something? Most successful fraud is the most successful fraud. Why do you say in that? The history of Nigeria. Why do you say it's that? It's very simple. Let me break it down. The fight against corruption is very, very artificial. This president came out. This president came out mm -hmm. with the fact and belief and spirit to change Nigeria and fight corruption. Mm -hmm. But guess what? This government is the most corrupt government in the history of Nigeria. Wow! GD, believe me. Wow! Well, I'll tell you something. I'll break it down. Governor of Kano State, Ganduji, was caught four times with dollars. Mm. And President Buhari isn't saying anything. Mm -hmm. Is that how to fight corruption? Mm -mm. The Asuki Gate gave President Buhari $350,000 and two bulletproof cars. But Buhari denied it that he only got two bulletproof cars. And that was his entitlement. For goodness sake, since when? Has NSC become the office that gives entitlement to presidency? <laughs> oh my God! Are you with Are you with me, my brother? Yes, yes. So that's why you say that now, he I is the most. I will tell you. I will tell you. Go ahead. I will tell you that politics behind the dollar. If I talk, I'm here. You will shout, but I will leave it for another day. Dollar that you and I know that good luck in the Jonathan left for one sixty five dollar to one naira. I mean to one dollar. It's now it was it was six months after Buhari came in, it was five hundred and fifty. Now it's three hundred and sixty five. For goodness sake, where does the hundred and fifty percent benefit profit goes to? If I tell you you will shout, but I won't say it it's not, if you go hear from Mr. Jaga Jaga about you. So there's there's a Jaga Jaga part two coming out. Most definitely, inshallah. <laughs> it's mad. It looks like you're really not afraid of trouble. You know, if you sing it now, the other time you were arrested. This time you're not afraid of what they'll do to you. I am not scared of death. Everybody is going to die, but you must be a bitch to die very stupidly as a fool that never spoke the truth when it was very important. We have to speak the truth when it is very important because you know how many like to say, and you know how many people that would agree. Yeah, yeah. Now I noticed that um, you were there at the African Action Congress. Uh, 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 their, when they did their convention, um, does that mean you 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 support what they're doing? Does that mean you? You like Omoele Shore, you want to touch a little bit about that because I saw you at the convention. As the priest of Dukari, at the moment I have not chosen which candidate I want to support. Okay. But if you ask me, I will tell you that uh, Shore is a better candidate that will change everything and bring the necessity that Nigeria needs to compete with the world. But guess what? Shore does not have the capital to win this election. Mm. I will tell you the reason. He needs capital to win this election. But I would say that is a good beginning for him. Okay. But by 2023, by 2023, Shore should be the next president of Nigeria. If 
we don't have a evil president. Are you oh, listening to me? Yeah. Okay, let me let me ask you. you me? Yeah, let me ask you this again. You said now that Chore doesn't have the capital, and I know that a lot of the politicians right now that have the capital, like Atiku, that was sharing dollars at, at his campaign uh, primaries. Are you trying to say that it is better to have someone like Atiku because he has the dollars to share to get votes? Are you are you saying that he's a better presidential candidate? If I tell you that Atiku is a better presidential candidate, that means that, means that I'm still not consulting. I've decided to tell you who my candidate is. Okay. But I will tell you that Atiku has a better chance to win that election because you know why? He has the money to play around with. And Nigeria, nobody gives a damn. Nobody is ready for revolution. Have you forgotten when me and, what happened between me and 50 Cent? Nigerian artists were in the play now. They don't want, they don't settle because they knew that they would, love, they would lose their shows. They would lose their leverages. So Nigeria don't give a damn about the story. They just want the cash. So what I would advise is this. Shore need to strategize. No, let, let, let me see before we go far, before we go far, because this is a very important, this is a very fine line that we need to walk here. When you say there's a difference between what needs to be done and what is on ground, because what is on ground right now is that people are willing to sell their conscience because of money. So I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. No, no, so hold on. They are selling their conscience because of money. They are taking money from people who stole the money that was supposed to be used to build hospitals and now people are dying. They are taking money from people who stole the money that was supposed to be used to construct roads and now young people who went out mobilizing the grassroots, they, they jump into a pothole and their car ends up in the river and they die. They are taking money from people who have taken our money abroad and have messed us up. Have messed us up. People who have also stolen money that was supposed to be used to build colleges and schools, and now students stay under the rain to study. Are you telling me that it is better for us to say that people who have that kind of money, people who stole from? People who stole and took bribe from a company that made the American government send the people that they took bribe from to prison and the case is still ongoing. Are you saying that we should just look the other way and vote for them and say they have a chance? Or are you saying that, well, there is still a chance for us to address this situation and do the right? Because there's two sides to a coin. It's either right and wrong. You cannot do the wrong thing at the right time. No. And it makes it right. So what are you saying exactly? GD, you are asking questions you are answering by yourself. Listen, <laughs> let me give you a quick answer. Okay. Listen very carefully. I've been listening. Nigeria is costing our money. Uh-huh. election because millions of people out there that would rather take that money than few of us that will stay on the line to vote our main act. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yeah. So, so, now, how do we now strategize when we know that, for example, somebody does not have that kind of fun to hit them bumper to bumper? No. Very simple. So, so what you're asking is, so now, now you're talking, so the question should be, what we know that this is wrong you already. Question, you must take me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Chidi. Oh, okay. You ask question. You must let me land. You must let me land. You must okay. Land, land, let land. Me land. Land. Okay. So the point is that Shore needs few individuals that are not corrupt. And I can give you names. Okay. Tony Enumelu. Shabnobia. If he can have one on one relationship with these people, he can raise that phone and show him will win election in Nigeria. But listen carefully. For now, if Showay cannot raise that kind of phone, we cannot win any election in Nigeria. 
So we will just try our best. Okay. So my point, my answer is, my answer is, I am not saying like Idris Sabukarim will support these people. Okay. So, so, sorry, 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 Idris, that, Idris, let me, let me. Let me. Is that, hold on, I'm going down, I'm going to finish. Okay. What I'm saying is that many people will sell their vote to them to be here. Okay. So why don't you play, why don't, why don't you with just take some, you should just take some thing and forget some thing. When you get there, you can change everything. But and meet some individuals that are not corrupt, that have this fun, and they will help him. And we will do it bumper to bumper. Okay, there's something there's something you said now that makes sense to me. You're not saying it is not possible, but you're saying that this is the facts on the ground, and you're saying that this is what we need to do. No, no, okay. So, okay, so, so listen to this. When somebody like Obama appeared on the scene, he didn't have a chance. No, no, I'm coming. No, but I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming to Nigeria. When he appeared on the scene, he didn't have a chance because politics is politics and politics requires money. There were no money bags. There were no godfathers. He didn't have a chance. But the money was raised from ordinary individuals. I can tell you, I can tell you the truth. It is not about collecting money. It is not. No, no, no. You, you have to. You have to let me. Let me land. Let me land. I will. I will give you a chance to talk. The thing is this: it does not mean that everybody who collects money from these people, because there's hunger in the land. I've, I've been on ground for two months. There is hunger in the land. It does not mean that everybody that collects money from them, because it is their money. They stole this money from them. So even if they collect this money. It does not mean they must go inside there and vote for them. Have you forgotten that fact? So it does not really mean that everybody. Yes. So our 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 task our task is to sensitize the people. Our task is to talk to the people. That's what we need to do. We need to talk to the that people. That is what I have been doing. Hold on. Hold on. That is what I have been doing with my music for the past 70, 20, 20, 24 years. Mm. Tell me how many artists. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Tell me how many artists in Nigeria that is doing the same thing. So when that's the problem. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. When you can actually quickly make money by singing about books and booty. Now, Sheon Kuti, African China, and few others will do the same thing that I'm doing. I've been doing the same thing I'm doing. But what I'm trying to tell you is this. Shore is a better candidate. But for us to be able to achieve it, we either will take it by force, or we play the game with them and win them in their game and put them back in check. Whether you take it or not or believe it, I've just said the truth. Anyway, what 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 you are saying is the truth. Because we are doing two things here. We are identifying. No, no, listen. I'm not sure we're in. I make sure we're in one on one. Yeah. I told him you have a beautiful fight. I told him I told him that I, the priest of Karim, will vote for you. I said, but you know what? This fight is not about the individual. It's not about how many times you tell them to vote this or that. Or it's not about how truthful you are to them. The fight is find yourself in that seat and correct everything. But to find yourself in that seat, you need force to do that. That is as simple as that. I'm not only force by that. It's a weird disability. He tried. Trouble. He traveled. He went to America. You know, we can't raise funds in Nigeria. So we're trying to try Well, we can't even raise funds in Nigeria because people don't give a damn. So how to do it is very simple. One person, one relationship, not the people, they work hard, make the money, have an understanding with him. It's not politics. Okay. It is not social politics. It's not oh. politics. Everybody must be politics. Everybody must negotiate. Okay, let me tell you. Let me let, let me let me try to let me give let me give some information. Let me give some information because I am I am involved. I'm I'm close to happenings in uh, AAC. I don't want people to get the impression that we are saying we don't associate with any other person. No, we have relationships. We of course we have. Haven't you seen Shore talking to people? I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Wait, wait, wait. I let you talk, so let me land. See, we have, 
<laughs> wait now nah. wait i hear you i hear you but the the point is this we have this relationship okay but one man does not make a forest i still tell you that the power the power lies with the people it doesn't you see if and that is that's a mistake that people make um atiku thinks he has all the money in the world the president of nigeria the incumbent president of nigeria uh, Muhammad Buhari has all the money in the country. He has access to the central bank. But still, why is it that they see us as a threat? Because we are close to the people. So I agree with you that we need to partner with people that, that will help our, our campaign. But that's what we're already doing. We have a lot of people who are donating their money to us. People are giving their cars. People are giving their houses. I'm telling you, yeah. Uh, can I say something? Say. Okay. I'm a great fan of Shori. Don't get it twisted as I said before. And yeah. I will repeat it again. Yeah. But politics is about negotiation. And he's negotiating. Wait a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There are few people that I told him about one on one. That my brother, listen, you can be the next president. Now, people, they have staff. Relate and move and try and see these people. Trust me, I swear to God, they might, they might, they might give you a better idea that will make you to become what you want to be. And you, when you get there, you can now change everything. First thing first is to get to that seat. But the situation on ground, the situation on ground, I've said it the way it is. I would appreciate if my brother would make more consultation and forget that idea that I don't want to meet people because they are for us. Not the harmony that is. We don't go collect them again. What are you talking about? But anyhow, we don't go collect them. We don't go collect them. So we find our best here. So when he, when he becomes the president, he will not come and he will not sit and say, "This is what I have done. This is what I have done. This is what I have done." And I did these things for those reasons, for so 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 reasons. And now that I am here, I'm going to put it right. It's as simple as that. Shore has, Shore, everybody wants to vote for Shore. But guess what? The hunger way in Nigeria where they fire people. No, 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 no. 70%, 70%. No, we look Shore side. But you see those 35% where we remain. If we can strategize and say, do it proper, bring all the package chiefs and take it to the next level. Trust me, my brother. Trust me, my brother. The youth will take over to show worry and will have a better Nigeria. Okay. Take it or leave it. No, 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 no. I tell you, no. I'm not being sentimental. This is this is a raw interview. We tell ourselves the truth. One thing I've heard you say right now is this: everybody knows that Shore is saying the truth. Everybody knows that what Shore is do with, with what he's doing with his style of um, approach to our problems, he is the best person for the presidency. But let me let me get you clear. But you are saying that with the hunger in the land, that it will be difficult for those seventy percent to vote for him. But they know the truth. So I am saying that we have a, we have job to do, because you see that thirty five percent who already have understood what the truth is who can even go to the politician and take their money because as you said it's our money but still vote their conscience without selling their conscience our That's right. yes so don't you think that what we have to do because you have to try your best till the end don't you think that what we have to do is to talk to these people more because a lot of them are not acting the way they're supposed to act because they don't that is the respons responsibility of the party publicity secretary. Good. And the creative part. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm just. I'm not a party carry member of uh, AAC. AAC. Yes, I yes. Have, have, of I, course. I I'm not. The, I'm not a politician. Of course. Okay? So that is the responsibility. That is the responsibility of the party national publicity secretary mm -hmm. to sit down with creative mind. True music that travel with the speed of light mm -hmm. to its consumers. Mm -hmm. True dreams. 
two things through social responsibility project. Then okay. it's okay. possible that it can be achieved. Okay. What what I what I the good thing is that AAC members, AAC officials are listening to you and uh, whatever advice you give here, we, we don't take it for granted. In fact, we have departments, strategy departments who take every, you'll be surprised how organized they are. They take this, is, and let me tell you, when you say you spoke to Shore about people. Can I tell you, Jimmy, Jimmy, yeah. can I tell you something? Go ahead. If I am Shore, I'm mm. giving you, I'm giving you an expo. Mm. If I am Shore, I will, I will stage, I will stage a street show with big speakers and call every talented youth that want to be, that want to be superstar to come on stage and rap about present Nigeria. But we did. In one minute. No, no, but, hold but. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, okay. Are you going to let me talk? Go, go. Are you going to let me talk? Talk, talk, talk. If, if Joe will do a thing like that, because you know why? He is so close. He is so close, and he has the media to promote these new up talent, upcoming individuals. Now, the street show will now make it a real serious business for everybody that goes home or that walks by, not in a hall. All he just needs to do is collect, 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 collect permit from the police and fix a date, which is weekend, and put big, big up street stuff like the carnival show. Go around. And just say, if you're not bringing any known artists, just say, if you're a talented artist, come and talk about Nigeria for one minute on this stage. My brother, that is the movement. Then the party members and the public secretary and everybody will use that opportunity in each of the LCDAs to promote their agenda. Are you kidding me, Siri? You think this is strictly about online only? I'm telling you serious business and it's best about the follow you talk. No, 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 I, 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 I hear you. I'm I, telling you, I'm, tell, I'm, I'm giving you as well as a brother, and I'm telling you the reality of ground. I feel you, I feel you, and I, and I appreciate Nigerians it. Nigerians in the diaspora that say they love him, Nigerians in the diaspora that say they love Shori, it is time for them all to come back home and come and make their presence felt here. Nobody said they could be in here when they make noise. I get you. I feel you, my brother. I that's what we've all been doing. We did a we did a show. We did a stage show in. A, okay, somebody says noise in the background. Um, we we did a show. I, I, can you guys hear better now? Is it better now? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, no, I'm talking to the people on uh, on the on the broadcast. If you guys can hear better now, please uh, give a thumbs up. Let me know if the, the the audio is better now. Maybe I was too close. Anyways, um, thank you so much, Abdul Karim. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, somebody says, who is on the line, please? The person on the line is Idris Abdul Karim, the originator and the, the person behind Nigeria Jaga Jaga, you know that song that went very viral and um, uh, he got arrested by the president then, Olusegun Obasanjo, and he has remained uh, an activist, a political activist, a freedom fighter. He's in the class of people like uh, 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 um, uh, um, Femi Kuti and um, Charlie Boy and uh, 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 China, what's... Um, African China, he's, uh, he's, he's in that league. I've known him uh, for being out there, speaking his mind, speaking speaking it the way it is. And I, he had just given an advice that uh, AAC should organize street shows and then uh, will invite young artists. We're going to still continue talking with him. He's a friend of um, our movement and we love him so much and Idris I like to really really appreciate you coming to talk to us and you bearing your mind the way you actually feel now what do you think about our young people who suffer the 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 current state of of uh, of nonsense I'm, I'm just looking. For, I'm not looking for a raw way to qualify it. The nonsensical situation in our country. 
What do you think about young people who are in that state and they still talk? I'll, I'll give you an example. There are people whom I have spoken to. I've told them to get politically involved. I've told them to, to speak up about the things that they see that are wrong. And they don't want to do that. They sing praises for politicians. And, and, and listen, listen. The same people, a week after I talk to them, they are still asking me for money. They don't want to join our movement. They don't want to join any other movement. They still line up behind the same people that put them in that position. What do you have to say to them? That is, that is, that is, that is to tell you that the, 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 the level of poverty that the politician through the military back then up till now has created in quality has given the, 40% of youth in Nigeria to feel that, you know what? This is jungle justice. This is jungle justice. I don't give a damn whatever anybody wants to say. I just want to make money anyhow. I just, I'm going to do, if a politician can steal my money with viral and death, and I can't find myself to become a politician, to go into politics, then you know what? I am going to do everything possible to do the alternative. What is the alternative? I'm robbery. Yahoo, Yahoo. Rituals and anything that has to do with bunkery, and they make their money and they become popular in Nigeria and they have names, they are so comfortable. Now you can see what I am saying. Now you can see where I am going. How money has even deep into our politics. That the only way is for the good heart to play the money politics and get there. But when it gets there, it will change everything. It's as simple as that. That was what Wari came for. But God, guess what? Wari used it to come and embezzle. He used it to come and embezzle Nigeria. All the money he has never made before. He has seen an opportunity to make that money now. So you can understand where I'm coming from. Do you know how many youth have been arrested for just running? They won't make money. Some of them use their mom, their grandma, their father to just, just to have that money. Some, some go, some, some eat. Shit. You know that video of boys where they jump shit for a mistake? When they say na yahoo yahoo, they say, they say, say, say the man where do the yahoo the, the jabs for them. He said that, you know what? For you to be rich, you need to eat shit every goddamn month. And the guy must eat shit. So he will invite girls to his party, then give them correct food. Put eggs inside the food. Give them waiting to make them shit where we go. We be going to be what three shit. The guys go to the ship, you can go to carry mouth, you take your power. That is how crazy the country has gone to. Kiddy, you live in Canada. You and I know all the benefits out there. But well, here it's called jungle justice. Jungle justice. And to be able to change that is to break one of us with no sentiment of saying this one, uh, this one is a criminal, I can't do anything with him, or this one. Go and collect your money, do everything, play the politics with them. But when you get there, Somebody asks a question. Somebody says, why can't Idris mobilize Nigerian artists, whether known or unknown, for his suggested street shows where I need together? Okay, let me explain to you why I cannot, I cannot mobilize Nigerian artists. When Nigerian Fury invited 50 cents all the way from America and paid him $1.8 million to come and teach us sex, drugs, and how many gunshots in his body, why I'm busy talking about ill in the society, when I am talking about, the vo I'm speaking for the voice of the voiceless, the Nigerian artist, when I was in the plane and I, I, I had an agreement with the organizer, I said, listen, you know what, whatever you give 50 cents, that's what you are giving me. I sat on the business class. Now, when 50 cents and his crew came to fight me and embarrass me, Nigerian artists were in the plane. They know not like say they see also. Bro, forget that level, which Nigerian artist? Nigeria is a big country. That's why that's why you see them, they rather think about women, groups, and booty. Why we are busy think, thinking of singing and talking about reality. Who would, who would listen to you? No. If you don't pay that any money, they ain't coming for no they ain't coming for no show. Don't get it to it then. Now you understand where I'm coming from. So it's their choice, it's their choice. I choose to speak the truth and stand by it, whether anybody likes it or not. Just like I'm I've given a lot of effort. Of course, we are not consulted for now. 
you. Men are paying you my money. I don't send you. <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. So, 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 I have to tell you the truth the way it is, whether you like it or not. How many artists? They're all, they're all sell out. They don't give a damn. They just want to make their money and go. They won't come. They won't come. Actually, he called most of them. Ask him. He met some of them in London. They promised him, but they won't come. Now you understand what I'm talking about. So we gotta play this, we gotta play it for real. So so the problem is that we do you really think that Nigerians are ready for this change that they really are the, the change that they need? Do you think Nigerians in Nigeria are really ready for this revolution, for this change? Yes, the simple answer is Nigerians are ready, but they don't want to die. No, no, but now we're not talking about with guns. We're not talking with guns. We're talking about with simple no, no, no. PVC. I don't, I don't, no, you know, it, you know it, it doesn't have to do with guns. I'm just, I'm going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to be killed. You see the reality on ground? Oh, man. That's the thing. So, I have to break it up. So, when I was in that plane, my brother, what the Nigerian artists should have done is, no man, this is our country, man, this can't happen. You can't come over here and tell us, shit, this is our country, I can't go to America and tell people to get out from that state. This is my country, you can't do that. And they will stand up and will unite for where I want to be. So keep the best thing, that, that person will ask the question, that they tell me, I think they hear me so, say, so we are not united. So someone, it's about joy. Some people decided to sing about worry and make their millions and sit back, relax, while people are dying and they ain't going to say nothing. So people like us that say about it, you think oh, we are crazy? It's because we are passionate. It's because we are called upon it. It's because this is what we do. Now, let me let me digress a little bit. Uh, recently, you've had issues with a couple of artists. Uh, it's online. What is really the backbone of all these quarrels because there's a particular set of artists that you're always quarreling with them you're always yabbing them what is the Trump is bitter, my brother just like you the vet now they shall say why they don't go this nigeria ready for changes that's what i'm doing do i need to say any other thing okay is bitter. and when you don't when you speak the truth nobody likes you so i don't like anybody too okay. you people that love me they're not for me i don't need everybody to love me all right, all right. I see it is uh, those in the booty body <laughs> singing, Keda, that you're always fighting. But I understand you now. I understand this interview. Oh, it's that thing. Now I know the sentiment. The truth, I'm going to speak the truth, and I've said the truth to you, TV, and related to your people. No, I, I get it. People and that speak the truth, people that speak the truth, no, not everybody likes them. And I'm, I'm comfortable. I don't want everybody to like me. One person is enough for me to do it. It may be successful. I don't need everybody. I understand. I understand. I, what you're and saying. I have fans. What you... I, have conscious, I have conscious fans that appreciate me for what I stand for. That's enough for me. Do you know why? You notice it's not everybody that I get to speak with on, on, on this broadcast. It's because of your stand. It is because you are somebody who you don't just sing because of the money. You 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 sing about social issues because that is where Nigeria is right now. That's why we have you on the program. That's why we are talking to you. That's why uh, thousands of people. Uh, this video is shared on so many Chidi, platforms. Can I say something to you? Go ahead. Chidi, can I say something to you? Go ahead. Can I say something to you? If, for example. A people or any other person apart from Wari becomes the president of Nigeria and asks Shori to come and be to come and be a minister. Do you think Shori will accept? I don't think so. Uh, you see what I'm saying? But guess what? But guess what? I will appoint Shori to accept with his party and bring in his crew and know, and know what is happening in the policy. And take it to the next level and clean it and collect it because then he has found himself in the system. They don't feel him again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is that is an opinion. That is an opinion, and I'm sure I'm, every... just, I'm just saying. No, no, I agree. Okay, guess what? Okay, guess what? Okay. Okay. Guess what? Guess what? Hold on, hold on. When when Ambode, Ambode is one of the governors that has performed very well in Lagos. But guess what? He's not a good politician. He's a good technocrat. But he's not a good politician. Right? Now, 
the few things that he has done with those individuals that embezzled the money that they are so mad about that they have to take him off and they are bringing in a new governor. That simply means that APC have failed because Ambode is the reason why APC is still does still have that face. Now, the, Amode, the, biggest, the biggest mistake Ambode made or the political strategy that works with the ANC would have seen as opportunity as politician or a party is to say, call Ambode four months ago and say, oh boy, come and join ANC. We'll make you, we'll come and join ANC. We'll be the next governor of Lagos State. People love you in Lagos. Then we'll come out and you use your own you know, you're, you're liberated and we'll take it to the next level and you become the next level. No. And you forgot it is a party. You want to discriminate me. So, if that is not happening, if that is not happening, Amode, if he was a white person and look around and say, okay, I can play with a hot party, I can play with no, but who can give me that zeal that people really want, but they are not ready? How can I change people to come out and vote? You know what? God's show for me. I need to ride on his party. That's what I'm talking about. But That's what I'm talking about. That is what it is all about. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. See, you are entitled to your opinion, and I respect it. Yes, now, my opinion at the top, boy. No, but wait. My opinion at the top. Uh, no, I, of course now. Nah, this is but this do is. You know, do you know that as a party, do you know, do you know, as a party, here comes a time that you merge with other parties to achieve something. And we're doing that. But let me let me say something. Yeah, yeah, so Can you allow me? No, 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 no. Can you allow me? Let, let me let me say something. Just let me say something, my brother. Every party has its ideology. Every party has its modus operandi, the way they operate. So many things that you have said here, you'll be surprised that a lot of them are done under our strategy department. But one thing I can tell you that our party will not do we will not play politics, and I'm saying this, uh, you can check with any other person who is uh, in the hierarchy of AAC. We will not play politics the way these other politicians have played politics. We have to get it right, my brother. It's either we do it... Are you trying to tell... Oh, uh, my, question, uh, my question is, are you trying to tell me that in Lagos State, somebody has not done right? No, 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 you don't, you're getting me all wrong all over again. No, you're getting me. Hold on, if I'm going to decide and say, ah, hey, hey, see, show me, what's up? Please, I want to ride on your party. Would show me say no? No, that's what I, no, but let, let, that's what I, 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 no, 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 listen to my, listen to me, my brother. You see, you can't. say no, say yes or no, answer me, please. No, I cannot tell you that. Let me tell you why I cannot answer. Because there are decisions, as a member of the party, we, we have a constitution, we have ways that we... That's what I want you to understand. We have a structure, we have a constitution, we have our ideology, and we don't beat about the bush. When you want to become a member of AAC... No, no, listen. You know, you have to, you have to let me talk. No, no, Idris, 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 Idris. I've, I've listened to you, you need to listen to me. What we do is that we let you come in. You have to understand that we treat each case by its merit. If Ambode says that he wants to ride on AAC back, AAC is a public party. There are, there, are, there are guidelines that are establishing every party, and we follow those guidelines. As long as... So if, that means Ambode, Ambode is not welcome. Who told you he's not welcome? I'm trying to tell you that Ambode... So it's a question. No, no. Nah. Ambode is like every other Nigerian. Every Nigerian is welcome to AAC as long as they meet our criteria for competing. For yes. no, no, that, you, you are. Let me tell you something. Even Atiku is welcome to come to our party and face our constitution. If all of the provisions of our constitution he passes them, he becomes a, a candidate of our party. So Ambode, like every other person, has equal rights in our party. It is nothing hidden. Honestly, we don't just go and say, oh, you know what, because politics in Nigeria, this guy has money, we just go and break. No, no, no. We, that's what has made our party survive up to now. Let me tell you something, my brother. We are not going to win 
playing the game like every other politician in Nigeria. Sorry, that is one thing we will not do. I'm telling you. That is not what I have asked you to say. That is not what I have asked you to do. So don't phrase it like that is what I have said. No, well, I just asked a simple question. I just asked a simple question. If somebody is signing, yeah. Three months ago. Yes. The one, the best governor that has worked in the history of Nigeria. Yeah. Just because they play politics and try to put him back in check and embarrass him. Mm -hmm. Nobody is the, he, 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 is the first Lagos governor that has been embarrassed like this. Nobody has ever been embarrassed like this. Yeah. And he did well. Yeah. Personally, I love him so much. Yeah. I love him so much. So he decided and said, you know what? I want to run on AEC party. Mm -hmm. Are you telling me that your party will say go? If you give me answer, if your answer is yes, then I know what I have. I have my reservation. And I, no, and I have my no, so, so, so let me tell you the truth. I can tell you the truth right now. The way our party is organized, we have a guideline that we follow and we let it flow across board. We don't care who you are. As long as you meet our requirement, if Ambode says he wants to ride on AAC, Ambode will have to compete with other gubernatorial candidates coming out of Lagos State. We will not say yes. So we'll, that's what I'm trying to tell you. We are not going to say it because it's Ambode. He just comes. We we'll give him the ticket. That's the ticket. That's not what we do. That's why we are different. Don't get me wrong. Uh -huh. Compete. Uh -huh. will compete. Yes. So, uh -huh. will com what I'm saying is, what my question is, when he asks for it, would you allow him, or you will say no? Because one, you think it's NPC, or you think he's an individual that can deliver, or you think he comes from a party that has left of the country. Is it about the party or the individual? Okay. So you let me let me answer let me answer your question. Let me answer your question. Let me answer your question. You, no, you asked the question. You asked a question. You asked a question. Let me answer it. We have the Take It Back movement. The Take It Back movement is a revolutionary movement. We have what we had. We, we have something in mind by establishing that movement. We are very radical in, in, in Take It Back movement. Now, AAC is a party that is established according to INEC guideline and constitution. There are things that we cannot even do if we wanted to do it. It is not personal. Every citizen of Nigeria, it doesn't matter your tribe, your religion, whatever, whether you are governed. Wait, no, no, so if they come, if they, you don't have to give me the whole. No, no, but that's that. That's the truth. That's honestly, that's the truth, and that's what people don't understand. That is that is what makes people have come to our party who are graduates without any money, we waived the fee for them. A lot of our contestants did not pay because they couldn't pay. It, politicians came and they said, you know what, we have money, we are known, we have, um, we have uh, what do they call it? We, we have our own, uh, 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 um, we have our own group, we have our own structure, we are just coming. And they expected us to just give them, you know, free hand to cause it. No. Go and get the form. You register. You meet our criteria. You come. You participate in the primaries. So you find a renowned politician competing with a school, somebody who just finished school. And the person who finished school, who did not even pay for the form because we have a waiver for them, beats the person who has been a politician for a long time. That is, see, that is the standard we are setting. Honestly, that is the standard. It's either it works or we doesn't work, there'll be a next time. It is not a do or die affair for AAC. We are setting a foundation because the reason why things are messed up in Nigeria is that it is set on a wrong foundation. I'm an architect, I build houses. Once the foundation is faulty, there is nothing you can do. So as long as we keep going back to the politicians and playing politics on a wrong foundation, on a wrong basis, it will never work, my brother. Forget about all this but money. I will, that... tell you, I will tell you that I'm one day one politician, an individual that has performed very well, and people love him not because of APC, but because it's I'm one day. Mm -hmm. And also, Showery, hold on, and Showery, reason why AAC is AAC is because of Showery, not mm -hmm. any other 
person. Mm-hmm. That is the idea. Okay. So that's at the back of your mind. Okay. Okay. I agree with you that Shore started the African Action Congress. And Shore is the, the motivation for even the Take It Back movement because that's how it all started. But do you know that it takes more than one person to make a political party? And we do not, that's what Shore has done in AAC. Shore has brought in people from all over the country, from different tribes, from different religions, and people with skills that you cannot believe it. Our IT department, it will shock you the kind of people we have working in our IT department. Nigeria is going to be shocked with what we are doing. I'm telling you the truth. If people like Zuckerberg can come to Nigeria, and be looking for people to work for him. If Microsoft can come here and be looking for people, these are the kind of people that we have in AAC. So the style of politics we are playing, the only thing is that it is strange, it is new. It is not what has been there before, but it's okay whenever a new thing, when Facebook came out, nobody gave them a chance. But look at where Facebook is today. So the brand of politics that AAC is playing, it is not what is usual. It is not what people really are used to, but it's okay. Let us wait till the voting day. And I understand it, it doesn't mean I am not uh, appreciating what you're saying. Everybody is welcome in AAC as long as they meet the requirements of AAC. But uh, let us digress a little bit. And um, let me ask you what you think about uh, uh, President Baba, um President Buhari's certificate. A lot of people think that uh, the certificate uh, it's an issue that we shouldn't be talking about, that it is distracting. Uh, a lot of people also say that, no, 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 no. That APC, APC, has, failed, APC has failed Nigerian Wupoli. Oh. President Buhari is not an integrity man that he pretended to be. Okay. President Buhari does not have the qualification to rule Nigeria. Mm. In 1983, it was Tudi Agbo that was ruling. It was not President Buhari. So President Buhari did not prepare. He just wanted to come and revenge some few individuals that hurt him back then. So now he knows that governance needs education, needs people, needs negotiation, needs rule of law, needs every other thing that makes it what it needs to be. So President Buhari has made the biggest mistake by, I don't know what happened, by calling or asking were ahead to bring in a certificate. For goodness sake, the West African Examination uh, 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 Company, they are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are really sad about this. This, this thing will go a long way. This thing will go a long way. The, 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 international, the, inter, the international, international community will so laugh about this. And Nigeria can be banned. So let's say the truth. Let's forget politics. They are just playing propaganda politics. He's not ready. He has failed Nigerian Wupoli. Nigerians are tired. People are committing suicide every day. So, my brother, please, ask another question. I don't care about this. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh... Uh, thank you so much, Idris. Um, uh, on, a, on, a, on a closing note, what what advice do you have for Nigerians generally? There's so much hardship. Like you said, people are committing suicide. People people really don't know what to do. My right? people are confused. What what's your advice to my them? My advice for Nigerian is my advice for all Nigerians is stand up and be part of politics. And if you ask me which party do you need to vote for, I won't be telling you. But you know, the man that is very young, that has all that it takes to take Nigeria to the next level. Thank He's the person you should vote for. Thank you so much, Lord, Idris. Thank you. I know your mind. I know your mind, Nigerians, because of you, few unnecessary things where we don't cost begin for this country. I know why you will still have to pay for it. Everybody just wants to get the kick. They don't they don't they are not they are not ready, they are not ready to create, but they just want to get the piece of the cake. I love you, Nigeria. My name is Idris Abukari. By the grace of God, Buhari will not be the next president. Inshallah. Thank you so Shady, much. Thank you for having me. My love to your wife and your beautiful kids. My love to Shori, my main man. I love him so much. 
It's going to fight to be the next president. But please call your crew and you guys should sit down. There are a couple of things that you can do that will take you to the next level. It's just, it's just, a, tr- it's just, a, tr- it's just a trigger. You know when you put the trigger, bam, something will just happen. And that thing must happen. It's very, very important. It's very, very possible. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate you. And for all the listeners, you know, my name is Idris Abdukurim, Obatun, your best friend. You know, uh, thank you for the time. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Idris. Thank you very much, my brother. So, guys, that that was a hot, hot interview. That's the kind of interview that I like to do with people who just say it the way it is. Abdul uh, Karim, he is um, the originator, the artist behind the the song Nigeria Jaga Jaga. Some of you don't even know that song. Just give me one second. I'm going to play the song for you. So you know the song we are talking about. Somebody was saying, who is this person talking? But let me play the music so you remember him. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, okay, hold on. Hold on one second. Where's my speaker? Where's my speaker? Come, come, come. We got to play this for people before they go out. <laughs> All right, you guys are ready to hear Idris Abdul Karim and the song that he came out with a long time ago, 16 years ago. He came out with this song. It is still relevant up to today. Everything's Jaga Jaga, Jaga Jaga, Woman 
Nigeria don't finish. Everything done, Jaga Jaga. Four man is so far. Telling you. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Idris Abdul Karim and the song he did 16 years ago, but that song is still relevant right now. He's going to have a release of the second phase of that album. He did a new a new a new version of that song he says it's gonna be out very soon and we are waiting for that abdul kareem uh thank you so much thank you for coming online guys uh always check him out we're waiting for that song when it comes out we're gonna play it he said a lot of important things um uh during the interview if you missed the interview it's gonna be on worship media uh youtube channel you can always go there and you would have the the properly done version of the interview we'd like to thank everybody sorry for the initial hiccups uh trying to connect somebody in nigeria is just so crazy but we won't give up anyhow with the one time now so we're gonna do it all right thank you so much everybody this is uh dr chidi uh doing this interview on behalf of worship media but don't forget I'm the next governor of Enugu State, but don't tell anybody. All right. <laughs> Thank you, guys. See you when next. Uh, Worship Media gives me an opportunity to interview another guest. I'll, I'll be very, uh, very willing to do that and bring you these hot uh, interviews that highlight the real situation in our country. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.